We're all disgusted with pigging politicians, Lib, Lab, Con and UKIP, but we're different. Do you remember when our country was a wonderful place? Free speech, honest politicians, a health service that worked and safe streets. We British, the English, Scots, Welsh and Irish built a decent, fair and happy society. Our war heroes defied European dictators, riding out the storms of war to preserve our traditional British Christian values. In World War II, the sacrifice of our heroes saved not just Britain from invasion, but the whole of Europe from the evil Nazi plan to create a totalitarian European superstate. Our war heroes fought like lions to stop Britain being swamped by foreign invaders. What would the mates they left behind think if they could see Britain today? What's it coming to when you're made to feel like an unwelcome foreigner in your own country? Political correctness strips us of our heritage, turning us into second-class citizens in our own land. PC councils ban St George's Day festivals and tear down English flags. The heroes who laid down their lives to save this country from past invasions must be turning in their graves. Because immigration has become an invasion, denying our people housing and jobs and piling up tax bills. The rise of militant Islam imports contempt for women, vandalism against Christian churches, attacks on members of the Jewish faith, a heroin epidemic and terrorism. Let's be clear, the British National Party doesn't blame the immigrants. We blame the out-of-touch, greedy politicians who've opened the floodgates. When we say British jobs for British workers, we mean it. And we include the British-born children of the decent immigrants who came here to work in the 50s and 60s. It's not about racism, it's a question of who has helped build our country. Is it racist to look after our own people? Why do we say that British people like you have the right to be treated fairly and put first in jobs, housing and health services? Because it's only fair that good people, regardless of their colour, who have worked and paid in all their lives, should come before sponges and new arrivals who've never lifted a finger to help build this country. But there's even more to it than that. In the end, the answer to the question, by what right should native Brits be put first, can be seen on every war memorial in the country. Just think with me for a moment of all those names carved on those cold, sad slabs of stone. English names, Scottish names, Welsh names, Irish names, our British names, and nobody else's, because overwhelmingly it was our people who did the fighting and the dying for our country. That's why you, like us, have the right to demand British jobs for British workers and a reversal of the immigration tide that threatens to turn our people into a minority in our own homeland. Because our rights, your rights, your family's rights to enjoy the benefits that come from being a part of this great nation were won by the blood, sweat, toil and tears of our past generations. They worked, fought and died to pass to us all that we hold dear. Now we're here to do the same with growing confidence for our children and grandchildren. To defend our island, whatever the cost, Remember, that's not racism, it's just natural common sense. That's why the BNP is Britain's fastest growing political party, winning council and assembly seats all over the country. In two recent elections, we won more votes than all the other parties put together. That's why millions will be voting BNP on June the 4th. If you love your country, make sure you're one of them. Call the British National Party now on 0207 078 3269. Standard geographic charges apply. Calls from mobiles may be higher. Visit our website on www.bnp.org.uk. Isn't it time we stood up for our country? For your free information pack, call us right now. If you're proud to be British, isn't it time to get in touch?